Sit in a comfortable meditative posture. Hands on top of the knees, either in Gyan Mudra or Chin Mudra. Spine upright and straight. Head aligned with the back. Relax the shoulders. Gently close your eyes. Relax yourself in the sitting posture, in this meditative posture. Ensure that the posture is firm and steady. Concentrate on the physical posture. Release tensions from the body. Become comfortable. Experience physical ease and relaxation. Feel the spine rising straight up from the floor, supporting the head. Total awareness of the body. Visualize the body internally. Be aware of the whole body. Feel that the body is rooted to the floor. Imagine that the body is growing up from the floor like a tree. The torso is the trunk. The arms and head the branches, legs, the root, the body is rooted to the floor and is immobile. Become aware of physical stillness. Become aware of physical motionlessness. Deepen the state of physical relaxation and motionlessness by observing the flow of natural breath. With each inhalation and exhalation, experience the deepening of physical stability, mental calmness, with each inhalation and exhalation, Experience the harmony of body and mind.
be aware of the physical body, of the meditative posture, and of nothing else. There should be total, uninterrupted awareness of the whole body. The body is motionless and still. Develop the feeling of physical steadiness. In the experience of physical steadiness, observe different physical sensations such as cold, heat, itching, pain, uneasiness, stiffness, tension, discomfort and direct your awareness to these feelings. Just become aware of the physical condition, the physical state. Develop awareness of inner calmness, physical motionlessness, the feeling of physical and mental harmony. Do not reject any experience of the senses. Do not react to any experience of the senses. There is no desirable experience. There is no desirable feeling. There is no undesirable experience or feeling. You only have to observe the physical and psychological sensations, the physical and psychological manifestations of the senses. Do not think of the sensations, do not think of the sensory stimulations as desirable or undesirable. Just be a witness. In the practice of Antarmaun, the inner silence, you have to be a witness of all experiences that are manifesting within your personality. In the practice of Antarmauna, you have to become the drasta of yourself. You have to become a witness of yourself. Unless you are an observant witness, it will not be possible to follow the mind, or the experiences of the consciousness. Do not restrict the flow of the mental experiences and consciousness 
by thinking of the experiences in terms of desirable and undesirable events. All the sense capacities, all the mental faculties have to flow without any restriction in total freedom, without any control and without any guidance. Just observe. If you feel disturbed at any time, do not withdraw the mind from the state of disturbance, but observe why you are feeling disturbed. For some time disassociate yourself from the experiences of the body and from the experiences of the mind. For some time do not associate your awareness with desirable and undesirable, likable and dislikable experiences manifesting via the senses in the body or in the mind. Know that you are a witness you are observing yourself. Know that you are listening to my instructions. Know that you are having such and such physical sensation. Know that you are thinking Begin to observe your mind. Begin to observe your thoughts. Thoughts are spontaneous. Thoughts represent the free flow of the mind. Follow every thought as a witness. Do not try to find a meaning to your mental experiences. Do not try to find any meaning to what you feel. You just have to watch. Understand and follow the free flow of your mind and consciousness. The mind thinks continuously. Even now you are thinking although you may not perceive your thoughts. When thoughts come to the surface of the mind, observe 
with total awareness, with total attention, with total inner passivity. And if there are no thoughts, then observe the thoughtless state of mind. The thoughts belong to past memories, present environment, and future expectations. Some are real, some are fantasies. Some are influenced by desires, some are influenced by situations and circumstances. Some are pleasing and pleasant, some are unpleasant, from which you may want to escape, but do not try to reject any thought, do not try to negate any thought. It is the psychological nature to escape from the negative thoughts. Do not try to run away from them, but observe them in detached way. The most important thing is to see yourself. The most important thing is to allow freedom of expression to your inner nature. Remember the two ideas of Antarmon. Allow freedom to the mental expressions and observe yourself. Do not oppose any thought. Free thinking, but vigilant seeing. You are not the thought you are the witness of the thought. Do not associate yourself with any inner experience. Keep yourself separate as a seer of thought, as a beholder of experiences. You are not the thought. You are not the energy of your consciousness. Do not accept or reject, like or dislike, any thought. Allow them to manifest spontaneously. Do not think. The thinking process is spontaneous. Sometimes the process of thinking is stimulated by external influences. Sometimes they come from the very depth of the personality. When you allow the conscious mind to manifest freely, when the inhibitions are fully 
or partially withdrawn from the mental expressions, then you will begin to experience the free flow of thoughts. You will have good thoughts, you will have bad thoughts, positive thoughts and negative thoughts. Whatever comes, let it come. Do not suppress. Don't be shy of any thought. Remain a witness of the whole process. Don't identify with anything. See everything like a movie. Always say to yourself, I am a witness of what I feel. I am a witness of what I experience. Complete awareness of the mental process which you are experiencing inside you. Remain awake and alert. Do not allow yourself, do not allow your attention to waver from the practice of Antarmaun. Now you have to bring a thought willfully into the mind. Bring a thought willfully to the mind, observe it, think about the thought and then let it go. You have to create a thought voluntarily, at will, and maintain it for some time. Think about the thought and then let it go. If a spontaneous thought wants to express itself, however interesting or inspiring the thought may be, do not allow it to manifest. Say to yourself, no. Create a thought. In this practice, you have to create a thought and not allow spontaneous thoughts to come in and divert your attention from the practice of creating a thought. Create a thought, go over the thought, maintain the thought for some time and then let it go. Then create a thought, maintain it for some time and let it go. Through conscious effort, Create a thought. Observe the thought, maintain the thought, and let it go. Any kind of thoughts may come, positive and negative, just and unjust, good and bad.
the mind, the consciousness has to move freely. And it is in that free flow of mind, it is in that free flow of consciousness that you have to create a thought. This is the practice in which you have to create a thought and not allow this spontaneous thought to become the center of attention. Create a good thought at will. Think about it. Maintain the good thought for some time and then let it go. Build up on the original thought. Think a thought Build up a sequence of thoughts in relation to the original thought and then let it go. Create a negative thought. Build a sequence of negative thoughts in relation to the first one, maintain it for some time and let it go. Please remember that you are not to involve yourself in the process of thinking. You are not to involve yourself with the spontaneous thoughts, but you have to create thoughts. Think a positive thought, build upon it, let it go. When you build upon a thought, it is like creating a canvas with different images. Create a thought. Then think of another thought in relation to the previous and see both together. Then create a third thought in relation to the previous two and see the three together like an unfolding image on the canvas. And when the series of thoughts created by you are complete in relation to the first original thought that you created, allow the whole canvas to disappear. Now, for some time, stop creation of all thoughts and become aware of the thoughtless state of mind. Do not create any thoughts. Do not allow any spontaneous thoughts to come in. Become aware of the thoughtless state of mind by focusing 
on the experience of silence which is internal. Focus on the experience of space which is internal. Focus on the experience of physical stability. By focusing, by becoming aware of physical stability, space and silence, remain thoughtless for few moments. Now, allow the spontaneous thoughts to flow through the mind. Allow the spontaneous thoughts to come to the mind, but dispose of the thought at will. Let spontaneous thoughts come. Observe them, understand them, and ask them to go away willfully. The arrival of thought is spontaneous. The departure of thought is your will. If there are no spontaneous thoughts coming to the mind, coming within the range of awareness, then become aware of the inner space. Continue with this practice for a few moments more. Allow the spontaneous thoughts to come in, but ask them to go away once you have observed them, seen them, experienced them. Maintain awareness of the inner space. The space of the mind. The colorless and formless inner space of the psyche. the space, the silence, the motionlessness are one experience. Be aware of the colorless and formless space of the psyche. Thoughts will manifest in the psychic space, Chidakash. Dispose them off quickly, willfully, consciously. Whenever any thought appears, observe it, and if there are no thoughts, then observe the inner space, the inner silence.
Any thought that comes to Chidakash, any thought that manifests from within, has to be removed. In this practice of Antarmauna, thoughtlessness is to be practiced. Thoughtlessness is to be developed. Thoughts can take different forms. Sometimes they can be a sentence, a phrase, which you see through the eyes of the mind. Sometimes they are sentences and phrases which you can hear through the ears of the mind. Sometimes they are having a form like dreams, like visions. Sometimes they are ideas and sometimes they are just imagination. Whatever type of thought you observe, it should dissolve after you have observed it. The thought should be dissolved in Chidakash. Become aware of the inner space and if any ideas come in form of thought or imagination, then that has to merge with the inner space and maintain a state of thoughtlessness. Maintain awareness of inner silence. Inner silence is a practice to become aware of all the inner experiences with indifference and with an attitude of a witness. Complete awareness of the thoughtless state of mind. Complete awareness of the thoughtless state of mind. The silence, the harmony, the peace, contentment, tension-free relaxation. Intensify the feeling of physical and mental steadiness. Intensify the feeling of physical and mental steadiness. Now, become aware of the breath. Awareness of the breath.
In the practice of antarmauna, the breath was subtle, and as the breath became subtle, the mind became one-pointed and still. The breathing is responsible for the movement of energy and prana shakti in mind and body. Develop awareness of breath. Breathe in deeply and chant the mantra Om three times with me. Om. Externalize the mind totally. Gradually move the fingers, hands, arms, shoulders, head from side to side. Do not open the eyes. Move the toes, feet, legs slowly. Bring the hands together, rub the palms and place the palms on top of the closed eyes and then when you are ready, open your eyes. The practice of Antarmon is complete. Hari Om Tatsat. <laughs>